At the National Assembly, the second and final day of a parliamentary interpolation session has resumed after a brief suspension this morning due to escalating fights between the ruling and opposition party members. Let's get further details from our parliamentary correspondent, Shin Se-min. Se-min? The session this morning was suspended right before noon when some of the lawmakers on the floor clashed over questions being asked by the People's Party lawmaker Kim Dong-chol. Kim was asking the Prime Minister about the government's parachute appointments where the government has appointed officials with connections but little experience to positions of power. With some of the lawmakers yelling at each other, the session was adjourned and the leaders of the three main political parties held a brief meeting to contain the situation. It was quite the scene and came as a disappointment to those watching as the 20th National Assembly is only a month old and there were some hopes that lawmakers would be able to work together better than their predecessors. Well, Semin citizens had enough of vegetative parliament, no doubt about that. And the 20th Assembly faces daunting challenges ahead. So how are things progressing now? Well, the lawmakers returned to the floor about half an hour ago, and the interpolation session has resumed since then. Now, today's session is focusing on non-economic issues, as the first session on Monday focused on economic-related matters. Lawmakers will continue grilling government officials over a recent corruption scandal that has seen several lawmakers accused of nepotism and graft. The session is also likely to cover Korea's struggle to bring down ultra-fine dust levels, the oxyhumidifier disinfect disinfectant scandal, and the deployment of the U.S. missile defense system, also known as that. That's all the latest I have for now.